Hey, what's up, guys? That's beast to me, Basi Hegan. And I am back with yet another episode of this great game we all know and love as Scarlet Hollow. And last time, there was all the stuff with the great little thing we all know and love as. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a fucking mine collapse. You ch children. According to, oh no, teenagers. Sorry, they would be mad if they were with that children. <laughs> I'm so fat. No. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, let's see if we can actually survive this shit. I don't know what we are gonna be doing today. Uh, we could go for recap, but nah. Nah. I remember what happened. Because it's not that long ago. Maybe if there's been months. They haven't. Sunshine filled us in through the dusty windows of the state as the dull ages of last night's activities throb in and out of focus. You managed to survive a second night in the town of Scarlet Hollow. And I was supposed to be here for a week, right? There's seven episodes? There's only four out right now, I think, if I remember right. But you pull yourself out a bit, you can feel the soothe and gram of the shore mines still stuck in your skin. Yeah, the shore mines. At least we weren't cut down there. We could have been if we didn't just fuck off. Well, I'm glad we did. At least we got Rosalina out, right? Take a shower. Or start your day without showering. I'm not gonna take a shower. Even though it's pretty disgusting. You step into the guest bathroom and into the shower. The water is hot and surprisingly enough clean. Oh, I wasn't actually expecting that. I was thinking to not take a shower because... Ugh, oh. As steam fills your lungs and soup washes down the drain, uh, you... Think about those girls still buried in the horrible mind. Think about Gretchen and Stella's face as she pulls the trigger. Rub feverishly, trying to scrape the memories from your skin as if they're a part of the dirt that coats you. Uh, okay. Think about Sybil's warning. The worst is yet to come. Think about Wayne and wonder how many times he's watched you unseen. Think about someone special. Think about finally being out of this hell hole and saving your own bed. Actually, I want to think about Wayne. Think about Wayne and wonder how many times he's watched you unseen. You're done here. Ah, I hope that could do some. Uh, uh, like, think about something more. Wash away your sins. Take a shower. You're a bro. What a nice achievement. Can I get achievement for that in real life? <laughs> You're done. You turn off the forces and dry yourself off. Like a real gamer. Real, real gamer. True gamer. Full of style. Yeah. Time to start your day. Okay. Did we check on the opossum? Maybe. What could we do else? Look out the window, check the closet, message your group chat with Stella and Kanika. Text Stella, text Kanika. Hmm. I'll text Stella. Face. So, sorry, I had to answer something. Pull out your phone to text Stella. Hot, thinking about you. Yeah. That's it. Thinking about you. It'll probably be a bit before you get a response. Alright. I'm pretty sure it will. So, take on the opossum. Sure, I guess. Look out the window. Maybe. Check the closet. Hmm. Message your group chat with Stella and Kanika? Yeah, sure. Morning. How are you guys holding up? Last night was terrible. What's the game plan? Y'all, I actually bonded with Tabita last night. Can't wait to ghost bond tonight. Get to meet Reese today. Send a photo of the pain of a pained old man. <laughs> last night was terrible. Uh how y'all holding up? Yeah, I think I'll wrote right that. Probably be a bit before you get a response. Should I text Kanika too? Yeah, let me do that. 
Hey, beautiful. Oh, I could have. Um... Yeah, sure. I'll do it. Got them titties, though. It'll probably be a bit before you get a response. Sure. Check on the opossum. <laughs> oh, you got a friend now. Hmm. Please get out of my dresser. Oh, can I pet them? I'll wave at them first. They look up at you. I'll pet them. Against your better judgment, you reach to the opossum's hands out straight. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Maybe now, they'll leave your dresser and return to the nature where they belong. You were just playing dead. Come on. Look out the window. Oh, okay. There's still this statue. You walk over to the window, fondly thinking about the pleasant view it provided you mo on Monday. It's the same view. Yeah. Maybe I should have went out there. And back to the guest room. Check the closet. Still the same shit. Every time you see the doll, your heart skips a beat. It has moved, right? I feel like it has moved a little bit. I don't know. Turn back. That's enough of this closet. Turn back to the guest room. Head downstairs. You've done everything you wanted to up here. It's time to start your day. Playing the field. Oh. Keeping your options open. <laughs> It's because I was hitting on both of them. Oh god. Yeah, I'm just keeping my options open. But if I get uh, if I get that Stella ho. Hmm. <laughs> you enter the kitchen to find your cousin in the midst of devouring a pint of banana chocolate chunk. She isn't alone. Yeah, she got the cat. Man. Frau Frau glares at you from her usual spot on the counter as a red-headed woman boozes herself, trying to tidy, tidy her as best she can. Busies. Boozes? What the fuck? Tabitha's gaze shovels from the woman to you. Her glare intensifies. Uh, address the header. Hi, I'm Boston. Oh, are we having ice cream for breakfast? Any updates on those two girls? Hey, Tabitha, how's it going? Hey, yo, cuz. How's it hanging, bruh? I'll talk to a redhead. Hey, I'm Basin. Morning, I'm Johnny. Morning, I'm Janie. Just here to do a little of my weekly cleaning. Whatever cleaning was the better will let me do at last. I could have this place looking brand new, you know. Don't make go making any big renovations. I'm moving anything around. I like knowing where my stuff is. Okay, dokie. It's so nice to finally meet you, boss. I mean, I guess I did meet you on Monday when you popped into the diner. Yanni. But seeing somewhere, so, someone somewhere and meeting them face to face are two completely different things, I suppose. I. Uh, it's thanks. Remain silent. Thanks. All I'm trying to say is that it's wonderful to finally actually meet you, and I'm so happy. Part of the family is here to keep Mr. Peter's company. What with uh, everything that's... Johnny! Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Peter. I'm being too much again. <coughs> yes. Peter grumbles in an acknowledgement. Oh, are we having ice cream for breakfast? Any updates or do to... Hey. Hey, Gus, how's it saying? <laughs> I just wanted to say it like that. No, I don't feel like that with a... Something I would say, but sure. You're cheaper for someone who was almost crashed under a mountain of rocks last night. I got a new lease in life. There's no better way to feel alive than by lay lying to yourself and burying your trauma. Choose not to think about the past. No better way to feel alive than by lying to yourself and burying your trauma. <laughs> yeah, that sounds... What a wonderful world. You've been hanging... You've been hanging out with Stella too much. You've been hanging out with Stella too much. My men have been working around the clock to take those two teenagers out of my mind. Of the mind. Peter takes one last spoonful of ice cream. 
Then discards the empty container. Turning to you with her trademark scowl. Okay, maybe I shouldn't read like that. I was annoying. Let's get going. I've got an errand to run in town, and every time I've left you here alone, something's terrible wound up happening. You're coming with me. Yeah. Uh, I'll be out of here in a couple of minutes. Gotta wrap up my morning routine. Yay, cursing button the time. All right, let's go. But but I haven't had breakfast. You can't just take away my freedom like that. I don't need a babysitter. I haven't had breakfast. You have thought about that before sleeping in so late. Yanni, lock up when you leave, please, and don't go rearranging anything. I'll I'll know. As you are ready to leave, Jenny approaches from the far side of the kitchen. Tabita remains between the two of you, impatiently tapping her foot. What did she mean by that? She's thick. Thick as fuck, boy. Oh, boss. Before you go, I heard about what happened last night. I mean, I heard about it before Mr. Tabita mentioned it just now, and then I heard it again. I just wanted to say that I'm so sorry you got caught up in that. I'll be praying for those poor kids. I can't imagine how scared they must be. <clears throat> Thanks. Last night was a lot. You should get out of town. I'd love to chat, but I hate to interrupt your work. I'm in town for another few days. Though, if you got time. Sorry to be so mean to you. Have you seen any weird creatures around town? Do you know anything about a guy named Wayne? Have you seen any anyone prowling around this state? It's been nice meeting meeting you, but I've got a bounce. A bit of foot tapping is driving me insane by. I should go. Shouldn't I leave? I want to hear about Wayne. Do you know anything about a guy named Wayne? I'm going to stop the two of you right there. Basse, I'm busy, and I'm not in the mood to stand around waiting while you play Nancy Drew with my cleaning lady right in front of me. We... We are leaving. Bye, Jenny. Alrighty then. Be safe out there, you two. The beta practically drags you from the estate, one hand clasped firmly around your arm. She continues to drag you all the way into her car, and from there into town. The ride to town is uneventful, your cousin unsurprisingly more focused on the road than on making conversation. Like always. She just got flying in there. Oh, alright. We're just popping into the general store for a few mi minutes. Uh, sure. What are we doing at the general store? Couldn't we be solving a mystery right now? After everything that's happened the past two days, it's nice to just go on an errand. What are we doing at the general store? Picking up tea from Sybil. Oh, I got gotcha. you picking up tea, huh? Yeah, I'm picking up tea. Why are you saying it all weird? It's okay, so uh, Tapita. You can tell me if Sybil's your dealer. <laughs> tea slang for drugs here, yeah? I get what you're putting down. Wink at her. <laughs> I'll just wink at her. Did you think I was talk uh, taking you with me to bu uh, buy drugs? I'm picking up normal tea, but drinking. Wink. Yo, yo, I'm child. <laughs> I'm, I should. I'm sh I should probably. <laughs> yeah, I should probably stop bullying her now. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Don't ever try it again. Hey, shut up, man. Fuck you. Uh, after everything that's happened the past two days, it's nice to just go on an errand. Yeah. Exactly. You and Tabita turn as the door, uh, as the door to the general store burst open. A flustered Kaniga exits, shouting behind her. Fine. Fine. Okay, keep calling him. Keep letting him get away with stuff you never would have let me so much as think about. I'm sick of carrying this family. Okay. But okay. 
Nika storms off, the door slowly drifting shut behind her. Ah, uh, other people in their drama. More people kept things to themselves. They'd be a lot happier. I'm surprised to see her let loose like that. I'm glad she's finally letting loose. Maybe family will stop taking advantage of us. Poor Kaniga. Really going through it, huh? Yeah, I've never been one for public displays like that. I think it's healthy to express yourself. I'm surprised to see her let loose like that. She seems so measured. Exactly. It's unbecoming. We're burning daylight. Come on already. Data beaten. The bells of the general store chime. As you cross the threshold, the smells of old wood and steamy herbal tea flood your senses, making you feel instantly at home. Sibyl, I get it. Did she just... Did she just adopt those two out of them thinking about it? I bet she did. Oh fuck, what was her... Good morning, you two. Hope you're doing well after last night's activity. Morning. Is the new blend ready? Of course. Bazu, if you'd like to keep Miles company to Peter and I will just be a minute. I can't believe you tried to tell me you weren't here to buy drugs. <laughs> Can you go, okay? Sounds like your daughter's pretty mad at you, Sable. Can I go with you? I like the tea room. Can I have some tea? Oh, sure. If you're willing to wait a bit, I wasn't expecting to entertain, so I didn't put any water on. I'll go and do that now. Never hurts to have fresh hot water on hand. Can we get this over with first? Of course. Priorities. Simple motions for Tabita to follow, and they both disappear into the tea room, closing the door behind them with a, sting a tinging of bells. Ah, that's probably drugs. I'm trying to listen in. Find a subtle spot near the door and listen in. The walls to the tea room are surprisingly thick, and you can only make out snippets of the conversation. I know it longer, short notice, and easy to come by. Is there enough? Just fine. Make sure this is all. Not keeping it. You only have one. Plenty of times. Your listening station is held as the tinkling ting ting of bells announce another patron. Oh shit, look at that big dude there. Oh, well in this case two other patrons. Well, if it ain't passing. Boo, this is Miss Gallard's cousin. He was there with Stella that night in the woods. It's a, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name is Bo. I'm Duke's boy. I hope you've been faring better since all the unpleasantness. Things have gotten worse. How have you been? Hanging in there? <laughs> I'm go I forgot. <laughs> nice seeing you, Duke. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I forgot you existed, Duke. Things have gotten worse. Did I hear whispers about what happened up at the mines last night? So sorry to hear about those two young ladies. Gothic Hollow ain't so safe that we to seem. How have you been? Hanging in there? Oh, I can't complain. I miss oh, miss old birdie. But there's nothing I can do for her now except to protect the rest of my brood. Them things won't so much as have a foot on my property. Not with Bo and me watching the perimeter with a shotgun set the ready. We even set the missus up with her pistol. Good thing we we was watching nearly caught Julius trying to make off with Big Betty. After if he could have carried off a nearly 2,000 pound popkin on his own, I'd almost love to see him try. 
It's not like we'll be taking her to the state fair anyway. Now all she's good for is making the world's largest pumpkin pie. It's delicious though. Never tasted it, but sounds delicious. I don't I don't think mama is a big tin enough for that big Betty sized pie, Daddy. How did you give birth to him? Out of your dick hole? Look how big he is compared to you. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Hey, come down. I'm joking. It was Julius. Wasn't it one of the dudes in uh, the cave? I don't know. It was... Who was Julius? Julius Tremaine. He practically spits the name. Some cousin, however many times removed, though I don't claim him as kin. He owns the farm next to ours, except he doesn't seem to have a good grasp on whose property is whose. Thinks he own half a land, always sneaking around and taking vegetables we planted. Or it's the way he tells it, we are the ones stealing from him, saying he is the one putting seeds in the ground. He's a miserable old cuz, and he knows it to stealing vegetables born of other folks hard uh, labor is probably the only joy he has in life big biddy is a pumpkin sure is probably what are taking home at least five, a few ribbons at the state fair this year maybe even a world record if we were lucky ah oh, well my hands are more important We'll just have to grow an even bigger one next year. We'll just have to grow an even bigger one next year, buddy. The man's been good to us. We sure are growing big out in the Callaway farm. Those things we saw on Monday are called ditchlings, and they are bad omen. Ditchlings? Sound like some old folk tale. Suppose that suits him. As for being an omen, I believe that too. But I suppose there's not much to be done if there's a forewarning. Some guy to the test besides looking out for me and mine. Still, I appreciate you telling me, Bowser. Thank you. Have you seen any of them around your farm? Yeah, yeah. We saw a few of those critters. They got scared up because I could start shooting. Four. Uh. Nasty little buggers. We've all been losing sleep, making sure we keep can keep an eye on things. It's even rubbing off on the hens. None of the little ladies have been laying this week. You know, Daddy, I bet some big mastiff could keep them of them things away. What is a mastiff? It seems like the kind of job for a butt. Oh, a god dog. Okay. Now, don't you start again, we ain't getting a dog. I got enough mouths to feed. And as much as you say you'll take responsibilities, I know it'd be me cleaning up after it. Besides, I don't have much faith. Why did it just skip it? Besides, I don't have much faith that Vink could be stopped by a dog. I saw more than a few in that nest. Yeah. Nice seeing you, Duke. It was a pleasure running into you, Bazu. You'd be you, but we'd best get, uh, get on with our shopping. Can't spend too much away from the farm. What with those little devils running around? Can't leave Mama all by herself up there for very long. You have a good run. I hope she call it hollow treat. You better win it from now on. <coughs> it was not amusing, you Bazu. And please tell old Miss Scarlet I'm sorry about her Mama. Okay. To shuffle up in today. Ooh, Pepsi. Pepsi Max. Or some. A bit uncivil are still in the tea room. Your phone buzzes. Pepsi Max. Oh my god. Hey, I overslept. I think I make myself breakfast. Meet at the library after and figure out plan. Then buzzes again. Hey again, lol. I've been thinking about you too. You wanna come over for breakfast? And then buzzes yet again. Somebody was busy this morning. 
sliding sliding into the DM something. If you want to hang out before the library thing, I'm parked in that van lot by the gas station. It's hard to miss. I'd rather have a Stella, to be honest. And that's that. You can't possibly be getting more text. Oh, Isaac. Hey. Hey, this is Isaac from the mine. You gave me your number yesterday. I'm out behind the diner if you want to talk. You have plenty of time before diner dinner at Reese's house. Meet up with Isaac. Go after Kin. Oh. Thing by Stella's checking on Oscar. Look for the time not to see Avery. <laughs> Just see Avery? No. Uh. I kind of want to meet up with Isaac to see what's going on, but I also kind of want... But I kind of want to swing by Stella's. I'll go to Isaac. I'll take Stella afterwards, hopefully. You probably have time to slip off and hear what Isaac has to say before Tabitha even knows that you're gone. You hold the bells on the door to the general store, quiet quietening them while you make a silent exit. You find Isaac smoking eye by the dumpsters behind Winnie's diner. Mr. X? Meet up with Isaac. There's 141 achievements. I am. But you weren't. But you weren't gonna show. Here I am. Uh, here I am. I don't have a lot of time. What do you want to tell me? Good. I don't have a lot of time either. Especially to spend talking to you. I put two and two f together. I know you're related to the boss, and the other guys are all riled up. They're talking about they're talking action. They saw me out here with you. They think I was some kind of scab. But none of them will listen to me, especially now they've all got bigger things to worry about than a single missing miner. I haven't forgotten about him though. Anything you wanna know, just ask. Uh Wayne's not missing. I keep running into him. There's a lot. Let me just start from the top. What kind of action are people talking? As it glances around nervously. They're talking about a striat. But you didn't hear it from me. So Peter was dating an employee? Yeah, it wasn't the first time either. I knew some of the other fellas who dated. He dated. They said he was the coldest woman they've ever met. Had a habit of dropping in a few months in before picking up the next poor son of a bitch who fell for her vials. I guess all cold boys are pretty desperate. Especially when a woman me of means like that approaches you. You never know if you're gonna be the one who locks out and locks down that old family wealth. Guess Wayne wasn't lucky. Wayne's not missing. I keep running into him. But why wouldn't he come? Tell me he's alright. Where is he staying? Why is he hiding from everybody? It just doesn't sound like him. I'm not sure the man you think is Wayne is really him. It's all gooby now. I think there's something wrong with him. Do you have a condition of some kind? A medical? I don't think he's alright. I think it's possible it's not him. It's all gooby now. I think there's something wrong with him. Something medical. Gooby? Jesus, I hope he's getting treatment. Maybe that's why he's been distant. Why would he be following me? Damn the vino. I didn't even know you existed until yesterday. I suppose to be the good of a Told him about you, so maybe he's trying to get to someone close to his ex. Seems like a pathetic move to me, but relationships change people. Maybe even a man like Wayne could be broken by someone like her. Did anything happen to him at the mines? Find any weird stuff? Uncover anything that wasn't meant to be uncovered? No, I don't think so. The few shift he was picking up were uh, all above ground mostly, operating machinery. Pretty cushion stuff, to be honest. I think Tabitha did something to him? Yes, I do. That or maybe Pearl Lane. I don't know what it would be, but something happened up at that house. The week it went down, everyone was so up and down about Miss Pearl Lane's death. Almost nobody cared about the fact that some transplant miner had gone missing. Did anyone think there might be a connection? Do you know how Palan died? What did you know about Palan? Do you have any theories? Do you think there might be any connection? What? Like, 
like he had something to do with her death? No, absolutely not. Heard it was natural causes, died in her sleep. She was old and a smoker. Figured her lungs finally gave up on her. If anybody did anything, it was uh, that family doing something to him. What was he like? He was a light-hearted kind of guy, always joking around on the job. Amazing fella to grab beers with, not keen on doing it. Uh, doing hard work, so it wasn't too strange when he barely picked up any shift once that relationship started. Sure, she, he saw her as a bit of a meal ticket, so maybe he wasn't too smart, but he was a good friend. Closest one I had. Isaac sighs, taking one last long drag of his cigarette. I appreciate you coming by to talk. I can't say I'm happy with what you've told me, but I'm glad somebody is looking into this. Seems like everybody else was perfectly happy to sweep it under the rug. Isaac tosses his cigarette butt. It goes without saying that you'd better not go telling anyone we talked. And if you see him or whoever it is pretending to be him, tell him his buddy is worried about him, alright? Isaac has back, uh, back inside and you find yourself alone again. Text your cousin and warn her about the strike. No. Flip back in to find your cousin. Go after swing by Stellas. Hell yeah, but... It does have nice. It doesn't take long to make your way to Stella's house. Knock on the door. You politely knock on Stella's door. There's no answer. You knock again louder this time. Finally, you hear the slow, quiet shuffling of tired feet and the jingle of keys and locks. Oh, nice. Hello, short man. Showing those spies off. An exhausted Stella groggily stares at you from a doorway. Hey, sorry, I'm a bit of a mess, I guess. I slept in a lot. Give me a minute to finish getting dressed and I can make some, some breakfast. Why do you have to get dressed? <laughs> Stella talks from the other room as she changes. What are you feeling for breakfast? Pancake, eggs, and biscuits? Maybe just a classic scramble. I also have a toast to waffles, if there's more of your speed. Offering biscuits for after what I've had of... After I've had one of Vinny's, someone's got a secret family recipe, huh? I'm a pancakes guy. Biscuits, pleased. Can't go wrong with a scramble, yo. Um, I don't suppose a toast for scramble is an option, bro? I don't trouble myself with a toast to waffle. I'm fine by me. Can you bake something for me? I don't want to be the bird and not free will. I'm not totally that hungry. Offering biscuits after I had one of Vinny's? Someone's got a secret family recipe, huh? Uh -huh, maybe. I've never said that as, they'd be as good as Vinny's, but uh, I've certainly got a trick or two up my sleeve. I want some scrambled eggs. Definitely. Who knows how long it'll take us to bust open Oscar's ghost tonight? We'll need all the protein we can get to sustain ourselves. We can even make them together. Hell yeah, baby. Alright, let's get started. Ooh, look at that ghost hunter's jumpsuit. Great based. Hot. Oh yeah. Cute jumpsuit, you look great. Is the jumpsuit because we're ghost hunting later? Let's get started. We'll have to tell me what to do. Okay, cute jumpsuit. You look great. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said I didn't pick it out just for you. Ooh, ooh, huh, baby? This used to be my lucky get up from back when I did ghost hunting videos. But they never actually gave any luck. <laughs> no, okay. No, I guess you might call it unlucky since I never actually seen a ghost. Oh, I guessed it. But hey! After the past couple of nights, maybe we could use a bit of bad luck. <laughs> Not a kind of bad luck where we don't find anything, of course. Don't want to jinx us. If we start on the food, I'm starving. You'll have to tell me what to do. Let's get started. I know there are a ton of methods for making a good scramble. Look at that fat ass. Mm. Like, sure, some fools like to crack the eggs right down into the pan, but I always like to have all my components lined up before turning the heat on. So I mix, mix the eggs in a bowl with milk and seasons. Like my forefathers taught me. With milk? <coughs> I've never done it with milk. 
I usually... I, I do do the bowl thing. But usually I use a little butter on the pan. Because it gives a good taste. Uh, instead of olive oil, right? And then... Uh, I put some... Uh, some seasonings in... Uh, uh, some spices in the egg things. Usually some chili too. Mix it a little bit and then out onto the fucking pan when it's hot. If you want to chop up some extras to throw in, I've got some fun options. Lay out of spread of ingredients: mushroom, bell peppers, onion, garlic, sausage links, bacon, veggie scramble, a bit of everything. Sausage links, bacon sounds good. Oh. Actually, let's just take everything. Get up a few, uh, a few choices, uh, choice veggies and the breakfast meats, and get to chopping. Anyway, seems like you got uh, got on an earlier start than I did today. Anything interesting happened while I was asleep? Did Tappy give you a hard time? And uh, I don't suppose there's any news from the mines. <coughs> I'm not, I'm not snitching on Isaac. My boy told me not to, so I'm not gonna. I ran into Duke and Bo at the general store this morning. The bit of was planning on babysitting me all day, but I managed to slip off while she was picking up tea. When I talked to the bit of this morning, it sounded like they'll be, still be digging uh, all week. I'd rather not talk about last night. I mean, sorry. Okay. Uh, I ran into Duke and Bo at the general store this morning. Oh yeah? What are you doing? Have they run into any more ditch links? Seems like they're okay. Yeah, a few times like they've been fending off uh, them off so far. Looks like they're canceling their trip to the state fair. Yeah, a few. Sounds like they've been fending them off so far. Things are getting worse, aren't they? Uh, the pillar was planning on babysitting me all day, but I gave her the slip. I'm glad you're here. Mm, I'm glad I'm here too, baby. <laughs> it's really nice spending time with you, even if uh, a lot of it has been two of us running in terror from the monsters of the day. True. When I talked to the bit of this morning, they sound like they'll st still be digging all week. Anyway, that's it for this morning. I'd rather talk about last night. Yeah. When I talked to the bit of this morning, it sounded like they'll still be digging all week. Can't stop thinking about them. It must be so dark down there. I guess there's not much, uh, not much we can do other than the, uh, wait. They're gonna be dead though, right? That was a lot of rock. I'm sure they're fine. There's not to think about it. I guess there's not much we can do but uh, other than wait. Exactly. <laughs> They'll probably still be out there in no time. They'll probably be out of there in no time. I know, Tappy said it'll take all week. But when we left last night, her crew had already made it pretty far into the entrance. I'm sure it won't be much longer until this whole thing gets sto sorted out. How are you still so positive after everything that's happened? Ah, I'll let it go. There's no need to call attention to Stella's positivity. I like it, it's actually refreshing. Kinda sad that Gretchen is dead and up there. Poor Gretchen. Are you ready to ghost bus tonight? As long as it's with you, I'm down for anything. Yeah, I'm ready, but you'd better stay close in case it gets scared. <laughs> I'm extremely pumped. Whatever ha happens, I hope it's scary. I'm craving that adrenaline rush. I'll just do this. As long as it's with you, I'm down for anything. Aw, glad to hear it. I'm looking forward to it too. And hey, if uh, this is anything like any other ghost hunt I've ever been on, it'll be much appreciated beaver. Unless you count Tommy Nagar says ghosts. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. It's probably time to start the first round of ingredients. Nice balance of meat and veggies for a balanced breakfast. Fill the slides, the ingredients from the cutting board into the pan. They sizzle the aroma of cooking our onions and bacon filling the air. Thanks for coming over, by the way. It gets lonely here sometimes without. Especially without Gretchen, I guess. I beat him. Do you think you'll always live here? 
Well, it happened to your parents. You and Kanika seems really close. Seems like you and Kanika don't hang out much anymore. So we're actually gonna meet Reese today, right? How's the food coming? Finally, wait for breakfast to finish. Peter, I'm sorry to be this kind of a jerk to you. Why do you still bother with Tabita? She's so mean to you. Why do you keep harassing my cousin? It seems like she doesn't want to around. You and Tabita gave up a bit of an excess vibe. So, uh, what exactly is your history with my cousin? I'm sorry, Kapiga's kind of a jerk to you. I mean, she's probably like that with everyone, but I'm still, I'm sorry. I don't think that's true. She's just unsure and kind of terrorist, but I think that's just her way of jossing with me. Like the whole ban from the mind thing. She's so funny. Uh, I guess you're just banned from the mind, though, because you are digging in and shit, right? But okay. I don't like that she treats you like that. You better serve better. I know you think it's funny, but I'm not so sure. You should just talk to you. I don't know. Maybe you should go along. You deserve better. But she treats everyone like that. I'm just more persistent. If everyone backed off when Tabitha acted prickly around them, you'd be entirely cut off from the rest of the world. Besides, it's not like everyone treats me like that. And I've got you, for instance. Hell yeah, baby. You got me, baby. Hell yeah, I'm all I'm right here, baby. I'm right here, baby. <laughs> Reach mine. You and Tabitha gave up a bit of an excess vibe. Oh, wait. You and Tabitha gave up a bit of an excess vibe. Uh, so, uh, what exactly is your history with my cousin? You and Tabitha gave up a bit of a little bit. Ah, is it that obvious? I guess you could say we kind of dated. Wait, really? Now, and now she's going for the other cousin? Yeah. Stays in the family. It stays in the family. What happens in the family? Stays in the family. <laughs> yeah. It was never really official and she might tell it a little differently, but as far as I'm concerned, that was my first relationship. Not that she's my type or anything, honestly. That's a lot closer to you. Oh, she's a bisexual? Fine, that's okay. Good to know. Now I have to be jealous of women too. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You still have feelings for her? So, uh, you play for left field then? I knew it. What was it like dating her? What did you ever see in her? What did you two split up? Cool. Say nothing. Still have feelings for her? Ah, in case I hadn't met it, made it blindingly obvious, I'm interested in someone else. Um, Gretchen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting someone else. If you're talking about who I think you're talking about, I'm sure the feeling's mutual. Whoever you're interested in, I'm sure in interested in, sure sounds lucky. Wait, are you talking about me? Look, Stella, I'm interested, but I don't know how I feel about being with my cousin's ex. Sorry, Stella, I'm not interested. So, uh, you play the left field then? I'm not interested. What is it like dating her? What is well, yeah, let me go up here. Feelings mutual. Oh yeah? Well, if that's the case, maybe I'll have to make a move soon before someone else snatches him up. Oh, it's the him, huh? So you play the left field then? Maybe more like center. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I'm into all kinds of people if that's what you're asking. What was it like dating her? What did you see if you ever seen her? What you choose, split? What was it like dating her? She's hilarious, and I don't know. It's hard to explain then what draws you to somebody. Me? For you, it's your fucking gorgeous looks. <laughs> you are hot as fuck, boy. <laughs> okay. I like the challenge of breaking down all those walls she'd build up around herself. It was kind of like taming a wild animal, you know. But it all just kind of stopped after high school. I guess we didn't see each other every day and she was always busy at the mine, so there wasn't much of a chance to hang out and chances to hang out anymore. Then I became a ghost hunter. Motherfuckers. <laughs> uh. I wish we could have stayed friends, like actual friends. Yeah, you shouldn't have dated her, I guess. I could have someone like her after the big accident. 
I think I was at school already. Freeze was sick. And Sapita wouldn't even return my calls. It was, uh... Well, it's ancient history. Can't change the past. You think you'll always live here? I have two parents. You and Kaniga seems really close. Let me just... Do you think you'll always live here? Have you ever thought of moving away? It's hard to say. This house means a lot to me. This town means a lot to me. And I haven't had to think about where to live or where to go. Actually, I understand her. I would rather just stay in my town. Means a lot. I love this place. Uh, maybe I'll find a new town, but I don't want to leave my town. I like living in N'Djamena. <laughs> Sorry, I don't live in N'Djamena. Anymore. But I guess I could see myself living for the right reasons. Oh, for the right person. Uh, no, I'd rather li uh, move here with you. But... What happened to your parents? Oh, look at her look on the face. Stella, Stella tenses. Ah, Chris. They were taking me to college. I didn't wind up going to college. Not, not much more to be said. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you ever try to back to, uh, to go back to school after that? Are you in the car? That's why you've been so nervous around cars. Oh, that's why you've been so nervous around cars. So sorry, still. Sorry, I brought it up. Let's talk about something else. That's why you've been so ra nervous around cars. We, uh, we talk about something else. Sure. You and Kaniga seems really close. Yeah, it's nice that she's back in town, but I wish it were under better circumstances. So busy with the store, too. I don't know how she does it. It's been nice hanging out with her more the past couple of days. Though, again, better circumstances would be nice. Are we actually gonna meet Reese today? If Dr. Kelly tries to warn it, turn us again, we can just sneak in. I think we'll stand in the way of us and friendship. Mm. What's he like? I'm not, I'm not about to ruin a cool and mysterious introduction by telling you. I think you'll like him though. Oh. Got a big cock, I guess. <laughs> it's just hanging out the pants. I'm joking. Calm down. I hate cocks. Don't damn roosters. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Calm, calm, calm down. Sit down. Fish. Um. Are you sure he's real? At the very least, he was real for most of his childhood. And if it's a ghost now, that's even better. He can tell us what being a ghost is like. Haha. <laughs> You think he's contagious? Ah, uh, whatever his sick wit has gotten just to be a Reese thing. Uh. His mom isn't sick. I've all, and I've seen him a couple times in many isn't in as many years and I'm totally fine. I really don't like his mom. He's definitely a little controlling. I think she means well. Her whole life is taking care of him at this point, you know. How's the food coming? Funny you should add. Looks like we're done here. Ah, uh, nice, right? Oh, look at that. What? You, you didn't give me any toast? Oh, look at that. You haven't even opened your mail. And with that, breakfast is served. Hope you're hungry. I'm so glad you came over today. I've been having a little bit of a hard time sleeping the past couple of nights. I'm sure you can relate. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. I think I needed a nice slow morning like this. Just hanging out with you. As you, As you and Stella start to dig in, you are interrupted by a phone alarm sounding off. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot. It's Major Jimmy's birthday. Oh, wait. Major Jimmy's? No, did you say birthday? Major Jimmy Day. Mayor Jimmy Day. What? I don't know what that is. But they're even still doing it after last night. I wonder how far the news has spread. Either way, it's a good excuse for me to meet up with Oscar and start talking ghost. 
Oh good, we can warn him of the coming danger. Why is meeting the Major such an exciting event to you? He's just a politician. The Mayor, not Major. I keep saying Major. Like it's a J, not a Y. <sighs> You'll see. Let's let's scarf this down and head on over. I thought uh, I thought I just got a fucking um, achievement, but nah, just someone playing a game. I'll make sure to bring some biscuits for the mayor. Biscuits? But we don't need. We didn't make biscuits. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Did you see your fucking face? Sovereign hospitality. What does that say? Spend some quality time with Stella. Hell yeah, baby. You and Stella make your way to the library. It's busier than usual. A eh, small crowd has already formed in the corner of the main foyer. Now we're just waiting on Canadian. There she is. Thank, thank God we have something to do this morning. My family's been driving me nuts. Yes, the whole gang's here. I've been waiting to introduce Bossy to the mayor for like the entire time we've known him. <laughs> It'll be worth it, trust us. All right, shall we? Oh my god, it's a fucking dog. <laughs> it's probably a better, a better mayor than any human could be, to be honest. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that is great. He's a dog. You can tell this dog is the mayor from the little sash and his fancy top hat. Uh, there's a regal air about him. Almost as if he knows the position of authority he's been elected. You have met this serious man by his side, but you have to assume that he's the mayor's handler. He holds out his paw as if to shake your hand. Is poor. It's lovely to meet you, Mr. Mayor. Hey, yeah, something terrible is happening to the town, and we need your help. He's a dog. He's so cute. I was expecting something different. We doomed. I knew he'd be a dog. Okay, we met the mayor. Let's go. <laughs> Love it to meet you, Mr. Mayor. As I shake his paw, read forward to take the mayor's little paw in your hand, but his burly security detail stops you. No paw shaking. Only head pats and ear scratches allowed. Wait, why? He, he asked you shit. Isn't he just the cutest? It's the best part of living in Scala Hollow, besides the nature. And all my friends in Winnie's Biscuit so and the close-knit small town community, of course. But having a dog mayor is a close fifth. No contest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Real hot, your turn with the mayor. Now move along and keep the line going. And by the way, I know you were up with the mine collapse last night. I may be off duty, but I'd be remiss if I didn't let you know that I've got my eyes on you. All of you. Let's hope the rest of your stay in town is a little less conspicuous. Conspicuous. What are you, a cop? I haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, alright. Great, I'm glad we could come to an understanding. Buzzer, that Richard Franklin is a cop, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, I thought so. Stella and Kanika sh quickly shuffles out of the room ahead of you, leaving to you to follow. Followed him. When, sometimes when we get, uh, like, this single answer positions, I think if I had some other traits, I might have been able to do something else. But well, that's just me. It looks... Like everyone else is already talking to Oscar in the next room. Before you can catch up to your companions, you're inter intercepted by a nervous man with a cross around his neck. <laughs> Streetman. Whoever he is, you can feel his desperation to make a good first impression, a self sustained and self fulfilling prophecy. Is he gay or something? Ian Pierce to Daniel. I'll take it, you're a bossing. You're everyone's been bossing about you. Oh, wrong button. I'm so sorry about your aunt. 
But I'm sure she's in a better place now. I doubt Pauline's in a better place. It sounded like she was awful. Let's not kid ourselves. We both know Pauline's in hell. I don't believe in the afterlife. Oh, thank God. I've been hoping to find a priest. Hey, do you know anything about ghosts? Oh, you must be the creepy past I've been hearing about. I should go. It's nice meeting you, though. Don't talk to me. Back off, preacher man. I'm, I ain't buying what you're selling. Wow. Oh, thank God. I was hoping to find a priest. I like your gumshish. Gumshish. Gumption. I can't even remember the last time someone around these parts actually wanted to find me. Is this about Pelin or perhaps your mother? I'll ask her. No, Oscar's place is haunted. I think we need an exorcism. Oh no, I mean real ghost stuff, scary stuff. Never mind. I think we need an exorcism. Oscar's house, Oscar's house is haunted and we're investigating tonight. Or like a scooby doo episode or something. I'm afraid they don't buy into that particular notion. It's a bit too spiritualist. Now if it were a vision of one of his parents trying to contact him from heaven, I could understand that. I simply don't believe in malicious spirits lingering neither in heaven nor hell jumping out of the closets to scare us. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for whatever is in the shore. Whatever it is she saw. Wait, you believe in some ghost and not others? What makes you an authority on that? There were ghosts in the mines last night. There's been a lot of supernatural stuff happening the past few days. Are you calling Oscar a liar? I trust Oscar. You should come ghost hunting with us tonight and then and prove it's not hunting. Alright, I'll believe you. I trust Oscar. I'm sure Mr. Gutierrez saw something, but I'm, not, I'm just suggesting he may have misinterpreted the sign from the beyond. A lot of folks are frightened when presented with such visions. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You mentioned Pauline Pelan being in a better place earlier. I doubt it's a better place. It sounded like she was awful. You mentioned Pauline was in a better place earlier. Let's not kill ourselves, selfie, but... People in town seem to think there's something wrong with you. I should go, it was night meeting you though. I got free. Ah, I should go, it was night meeting you. Of course, and if you find yourself in need of counseling or spiritual guidance, you know where to find me. That sounds lovely, thank you. Thanks for the offer, but I'm fine. I'm not really religious. That sounds lovely, thank you. Re really? Oh, that's great. I just don't usually get positive responses when I ask folk if they want to come up to the church. Any time that, that works for you, just swing by it. I'm sure I'll be around. It was so lovely to meet you. And you'll have a blessed day, the boss. Pastor leaves you be and joins the line to see the mayor. Nothing to do now but catch up with your companions. Go after them. Based. Find them already talking to Oscar Deaver in the library. Are you sure we can't just get it over with while the sun is up? I don't know if I can handle getting scared shitless in the dark two nights in a row. I wish we could. I, I wish we could, especially since we're not particularly excited about going back in there. <laughs> After the dog either, but I'm pretty sure it's only come out when the sun goes down. Yeah, there's no way I'm going in, uh, in until that spirit is at full power. I want to be sure that to get the best evidence possible. This could be... be my one shot to get real proof of ghost. I'm not gonna waste it just because I'm uh, impatient. Can you wait two seconds? I need to go get me some wasa. I'll be back in two seconds. I am back. I am back. It was just my table. Not on my table. It was not on my table. It was uh, just like uh, steps away. Now I am back. And great. Let me take some Vasa. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be the death of me. And you're sure there's nothing we can do for Rosalina right now?
Good. That was a lot of nice water, man. Pop me some water. Maybe I should grab up. Grab some lean. <laughs> Joking. I don't think so. She's been locked up in her room all day. And hasn't been very interested in talking to anyone. I think the best we can do is stick to the plan. Just bo ghost goes to bust the house and clean house clean and give her a real bed to sleep in tonight. Probably. It looks kind of fucking ripped for a librarian. I just hope it's possible to get rid of this thing. This is pretty serious ghost infestation. <clears throat> is that what you'd call something like this? I believe it's called a haunting, but ghost infestation also sounds good. I suppose we're the ghost hunters, so we can call it whatever we want. Anyways, I'll be bringing all the ghost hunting supplies anyone could ever need, so... You should be set on preparations. The only thing y'all need to bring is an open mind. We could always call the pastor if things get sticky. Don't worry, Oscar. We'll fix this. We have the power of friendship on our side. <laughs> I still don't think ghosts are real. I'm starting to get cold feet about ghosts. Huh? Remain silent. We could call the pastor if things get sticky. No, I don't think that will be necessary. Yeah. Let's leave the creepy pastor out of this. Something tells me... <clears throat> Something tells me things would just get worse if he showed up. I once saw the man having what looked like an honest to goodness conversation with a squirrel. I don't think he's all there. Well, if they're not doing the hunt now, I guess we'll have should head over to Reese's. Absolutely. Come on, boss. It's time to go uh, to go bother our friend. I'm gonna get back to it. See you all tonight. Time to go. So, I finally missed Pastor Daniels. Uh, do you mind if I invite Tapita ghost hunting? Invite Tapita to go ghost hunting secretly. At Teresa's. I uh, saw so I finally met Pastor Daniels. I figured as much after you suggested calling him in for the ghost hunt. It's, a, it's, a, it's only a matter of time until he tries to pull you aside about grief counseling. When my dad died, I had to ban him from the general store for a week. He wouldn't stop leaving those little pamphlets at the checkout. I don't know where he finds so many. I think he just really wants people to like him. Everyone should be nicer to him. He seems like a good man. They're all are right. His wives are bad. He and Janet keep trying to make me go to church. That's all I have to say. I really met. Uh, really, I met him. Yes, been met. I have no opinions on the man. I think he just really wants people to like him, but he comes off as desperate. It's a vicious cycle. Oh, when you put it like that, this whole situation is kind of sad. Even if that's the case, it doesn't mean I have to like him. Whatever his deal is, goes a step beyond trying too hard to get people to like him. The man was grinning down through all of my dad's funeral. He's not normal. And I don't mean that in a stigmatizing mental illness kind of way. There's just this little siren that goes off every time I see him. That tells me to get away from him. That's exactly how I would describe it too. You did have a little creepy smile, but sure, it's nothing worse than what a bit of it had. The whole time feels the same way, now that I think about it. He must be pretty lonely. You can look for friends somewhere else. Do you mind if I invite to be the ghost on me? It's Teresa. Alright, shall we head out? Alright, shall we head out? The three of you leave the library for an early dinner at Reese's. But we just had breakfast. Oh no, we met the dog. Bit yeah, pretty great. He dad was a politician, I like. You once again find yourself in front of Reese's house. I could uh, a cold hesitation grips you as the building looms over the hilltop. Though it's not early, though it's early, only early afternoon. It feels so much later. The sun already sinking behind the tall mountains, 
That's a round skull. It's hollow. We're a little early. What if Dr. Kelly yells at us? We're a little early. What if Dr. Kelly yells at us? We're a little early. There's no thing, such thing as early when you're hanging out with friends. Just some extra time you could spend together. Okay. But what if she yells at us? It's too late. The dong swings open. Ooh, look at that. Reese, you look like a fucking skeleton. Point. Hey. Ah, that's a bad name. Uh, hey. Oh. I wanna... How do I make it? Oh, uh, maybe not. Just... Hey. Hey. Reese. Oh my god, dude. It's been ages. You must be passing, right? I've heard a lot about you. Dale's been relentless about making sure I got all the buzzer updates. Sure. I am just that hot, you know. Look at that. He's dying for some of me. And she got the cicada thing. She's also dying for some of me. I got my heart, I'm going. They're both on my nuts. You know that, right? Your friends. Your childhood friends. The ones you never had a chance with. They're both on my nuts. And I've only been here for two days. Did you know that? Pretty sick, Ryan. You gay, can you really understand how fucking great I am? And how fu much of a lo sick loser you are? I need help, man. I knew you showed up early, Stella. And I knew you'd probably want to help me cook, too. What can I say? I make an excellent sous chef. The house feels cold. Not only is there an odd chill in there, but the building itself feels too sterile, uncomfortably t uh, tidy, to the point where you're nervous to touch anything. If it weren't for the aroma of store-bought dinner rolls, bacon in the oven, and the unsettling artwork hanging on the walls, you'd have half convinced you'd wandered into a real estate showing. Uh... So how can I lend a hand? I'm sitting uh, down at the table and not putting pasture in my kitchen. I made sure everything was done well in advance, so the only thing left are the dinner rolls, which wouldn't be long. Then we can have a quick dinner and you can leave my house and go out on about your business. And I was hoping to see Reese's new one. We still have time for that. You aren't seriously considering subjecting your friends to your disaster of a room, are you? What the fuck? Shut up, you dumb whore. It's not that bad. You can still see the floor. Dr. Killy raises a single questioning eyebrow. I don't mind a little mess. Yeah, I doubt it could be any worse than, what, uh, than, than the way I keep my room. It's okay, fine. As long as you stay out of the kitchen, I don't care what you go it up to. Oh, we'll just be downstairs. Oh, we'll just be downstairs. You won't even know we're here. You make your way towards the basement stairs. Basements is what you might expect out of a tortured artist who spends all his time confined to his studio, discarded canvases, line it e line its edges while trash and sketches leak out from their pile in the corners in the room. Finding the bear, ba 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 ba. Finding the bear, hiding the bear cement floor, ghoulish face. Sure, sure. Sure, I guess. Sure. Wait, are those... Aren't those stitchlings? I don't know. Your mom is so scary. You can be... You can be a little intense. Kind of overprotective, which I guess makes sense. Anyway, make yourself comfortable. You have to forgive the mess. I'm, I've been distracted lately. I haven't been cleaning much. Do you know need us to sneak you out of here? This place feels like a prison. You ever need to model him here till Monday? <laughs> no, I'm not flirting with him. Flirting with Stella. Come on, really looks out for you. 
Kanika's right, your mom's scary. So has Stella told you about everything that happened to the past couple of days? The whole situation gotta be rough, huh? Sorry. What are you sick with? You're odd. That's quite a movie collection you got. Any ricks? So you free go way back, huh? Want to come ghost hunting with us tonight? Let me just start up here. You need us to sneak you out here of here? Place feels like a prison. Un unfortunately, the person uh, we're dealing with here is my body, not my room. Are you, sh Are you sure there's nothing we can do? Your company is plenty. It's so nice to have so have living people down here for a change. You know, we'd visit more if your mom letters. Did she tell you she turned us away yesterday? She said she couldn't even talk to you. It's a little controlling. You came by yesterday? She didn't tell me. But I was probably asleep, that's all. She didn't want to wake me up. I don't think that's her being controlling or anything. Not to cast any doubt on that, but she did say I couldn't bring you any food. She knows that, that how I show my friends how much I appreciate them and she knows I can work around all kinds of allergies and intolerances. Not gonna lie, it felt weird. I don't know, my body is pretty particular when it comes to food. But dinner rolls. I don't know what dinner rolls is, but dinner rolls <laughs> sounds like. Hmm. To Google it, dinner rolls. I can't spell. Spelled right now. Oh, is that dinner rolls? That just seems like a fucking. I'll taste that, that's pretty you. Just okay. Fair enough, I guess. You just prefer I thought it was something else, but okay. You just pref it just prefers to have full control over what I eat, so Okay, maybe that does sound controlling. But it's for a good reason. If I eat the wrong thing, it could really mess me up. So she has to regulate my food. I'm not I'm not playing with <laughs> So I still uh, told you about all that happened the last couple of days? Oh, she's told me about what you guys have found out there. I wish I could see some of that myself, but you know. You guess just in futility towards the walls of the basement. Are you sure? Are you sure you can't sneak out one, uh, one of these nights? The dog isn't keeping me prisoner here. Well, I'm sick, you know that. I'm sure, man. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. There's nothing to apologize for, and I appreciate the effort. I really do. There's just nothing you can really rescue me from. That die has already been cast. But we were talking about the past couple of days, weren't we? Do you have any thoughts on the ditchlings we've been seeing? Do you think the town is doomed? What do you think of my cousin? What do you think is going on with rain? You have any thoughts of the ditchling ditchlings we've seen? Yeah, they've come. They've been coming up to my window at night. Oh, scary shit. Wait, really? Is that why you texted me that they looked like something out of your nightmares? Yeah, I thought I was hallucinating. I hadn't put it together that we might have been seeing the same thing until just now. I've been sketching them, actually. Tell me what you think. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's why he did it. I see. Ah, he got him there too. Very nice. He pulls out a sketchbook from one of his piles in the room. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay. That's exactly what I saw on my uh, my way home last night. What does it mean that we've been lurking around here though? What the? I don't know. But I like the company. They're kind of beautiful in a sad way. If you ask me. Yeah, if they don't get into your house and try to fucking kill you and be weirdly to you. Agree to disagree with you there. Those things are gonna be stuck in my nightmares until the day I die. Do you think the town is doomed? I think everything is probably doomed at some point, but I guess that's answering a different question. Do you think the town of Scarlet Hollow is on the brink of collapse? Probably not, but it's not like I have... 
I love his perspective of what is what it's like out there. It could be raining on Main Street, and if it's still on the dog didn't tell me, I just wouldn't know. I would totally tell you if there was a riot. What Doctor Kelly tell? What Doctor Kelly tell you though? I mean, I hope so. But the point I'm trying to make is that all the people in my house out there. Okay. He does look sick as fuck. That's kind of insane. What do you think of my cousin? Sorry, I spilled some water on my thing. Come. She was really distant and mean. I probably would have thought she had it out for me. Personally, if she had, if she wasn't like that towards everyone. Or if I thought she even knew my name. But people change. Maybe she's nicer now. She's still terrible. She's still terrible. You guys just never took the chance to get to know her. She's actually really funny and sweet. I'll pass, thanks. What do you think's going on with Wayne? Who? You know that guy who's been following Baza around uh, a bit and being all on this? Oh yeah, that real slasher creep. I appreciate the classic Jason vibe he's going on. He is hoping he doesn't live up to the look oh, of all sakes. The whole situation gotta be rough, sorry. Thanks, but I've been dealing with this for a while. You don't have to feel sorry for me. I've kept the cash. <sighs> I've got to dance with the way the rest of my life is going to be. <laughs> you saw my cable, Reese. You make it sound like you're gonna be sentenced to death. You, you haven't, right? Not exactly. No one really knows what's wrong with me. But I've been getting worse. I can barely keep most foods down. My skin always itches like there are worms crawling underneath it. I could live for a long time or a short time, no one's sure. But I'm definitely not going to get better whatever time I have left is going to be miserable. But I've done my morning. My best years are behind me. My future is unknowable. But one day I'll wind up in a pine box just like everyone else. And I'm okay with that. Dang, Reese, I may be goth, but that's some real nihilistic shit. Are you goth? For real? You didn't hit me as a goth, but okay, fair enough, can you? We'll make sure to come by more often here on out. Friendship heals whole wounds, right? Thanks, guys. But you really shouldn't worry about me. I have my heart. I'm doing fine, really. Sure, but I need something to drink now. Very nice. Very nice. Very. You'll need about something the doctors can do for you. We'll all join the worms one day. We just got to make the best of what we got. What's your diagnosis, if you don't mind me asking? <sighs> Sorry. I don't mind, though. The answer isn't very illuminating. It's not one particular thing, but a whole mess of nasty little things that add up to one big diagnosis of bad genes. Is it pulled the losing card in the DNA lottery? Hey, it isn't all bad. Some of it is just weird like this. Fuck, he has some scary ass pants. Ah, no! No, no! <laughs> These pulls on the skin of his arm, it stretches unnaturally. Fuck. My ballista suit is kinda cool, right? Whoa! Does that not hurt? No, nope, it feels fine. Like I said, it's it gets into your other skin sometimes, but I don't know if that still has digity. The medicine is not a part of my condition. Okay. You're out. Slap these bad boys on uh, mark, you can make a bugger too. It's grotesque, it's so emo. There's sure it's a lot of it. Slap those bad boys on the mark, and you can make a bugger too. That's what I've been telling you. That's what I've been telling him. If you post a teaser online somewhere, you could get big man. 
I don't think I keep them to myself until I die. You know how it is with that artist. Tell ourselves for way more. I hope to talk to whoever winds up inheriting my work makes millions of them. Sure. Okay. Fair. I'd be able to rest easy knowing somebody had retroactively given my life value. Some scary ass nails, bro. Oh, you can sell them while alive and enjoy the fruits of your labor when they still exist. That sounds complicated. I'd rather just spend my time painting, leave the hard work to someone else. What a movie collection you got? Any Rex? Let me think. Oh, have you heard of Shinoji? Definitely. I saw that for the first time recently and it blew me away. Excellent example of both Japanese art and found for the stand right. You could even put it on after dinner if you guys are interested. Hang, I'm gonna usually be down for that, but we've got to head over to Oscars after this. Promised we'd had ghost bust his house. He's probably been dealing with a bad haunting. And I feel like he, we should really be going there, be there for him tonight, considering everything that's happened. He and Rosalina both need our support right now. I think a rain chicken on movie. We could always stitch. Just movie sounds good. I don't like how it moves anyway. I'll take a rain chicken. I'm not sure what rain chicken means, but I. Uh... Rain. Meaning, thank you. A ticket stop entitling the holder to a mission to a future event if the scheduled event is cancelled because of rain. Ah. Nice. Okay. I always just was uh, thought it was like, ah, no, thank you. But it's just like, uh, if if my other plans could uh, fuck off, uh, then you yeah, sure about Yeah, we'll definitely come by for a movie night this week. I'm free tomorrow night. Same goes for Pasi. How do you know, Stella? How do you know? Talking me? Or maybe I told you. Uh, I, I probably told her. I should probably work tomorrow, but I can close up early. What about the lady in the pool in the sea of blood? Have you seen that one? I haven't. <laughs> I just heard it was really weird. Do you free go way back, huh? Almost to the womb. The school here is tiny. K-12? K through 12? Not exactly a one-room schoolhouse, but not far from it. We luckily like all got along as, as much as we did. Some kids weren't able to make any friends their own age. We just happened to be born around the same time as some real jerks and were stuck with them through their whole school career. Poor kids. Not that we were free from dealing with jerks like a certain scarlet I could name. Yeah, she was a little rough around the edges, but she was a pretty friendly when you got to pa got past that. Maybe to you. The way she used to look at me, you'd think I rolled in something foul every morning before school. Same here, though. To be fair, the feeling was more mutual between us. You deserved it, though. Want to come ghost hunting with us tonight? Oh, wow. Do you think you'd be down for that? We'd love to have you. Yeah, it'd be great to have you along. That would be so amazing, but I haven't had the best luck leaving the house lately. Even just walking to town is enough to put me in bed for a week. It sucks. But make sure you bring your camera, Stella. I want to see everything that happens. Yeah. Uh, dinner's ready. Dinner's gotta be ready by now, right? Almost on cue, Reese's mom shouts from the kitchen. Dinner's ready on the table. It stands for it for catching him. But up. Uh, I'm not. I'm. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you all wash your hands with soap. I don't want anyone sharing their germs at the dinner table. Your thing, Doc. I'll read them. <laughs> Why would I lie about that? My hands are already clean. Go wash your hands. Oh. Are you saying anything here? It's probably best to just silently comply. Make your way towards the sink, but are stopped in the tracks 
by the pull of an odd door at the end of the hallway. It feels out of place, like you accidentally wandered into a different older house, but more than that, you feel something radiating from behind it. Something dark and cold. Something that reminds you of the dusty tunnels you narrowly escaped that night. An oppressive hum just beyond your hearing fills the air and you feel strange. Fuck, this is a scary sound and I don't like it. You're compelled to approach the door, drawn in as, an, as if hypnotized. Door, open the 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 door. Holy fuck. There at least one that's something else. This just feels... Because they did it in Lady Princess. But maybe... There just isn't. Oh, I can only open the door for some reason. Yeah. It's a kind of scary that the... yeah. Before you know it, the doorknob is turning in your hand. Your heart full of both deep dread and a compulsive need to know what might be on the other side. What do you think you're doing? Well... Well? Just clean the doorknob. There's something compelling about this door. I need to see what's behind this door. Return to the door. There's something compelling about this door. No, it is. Now wash your hand. Return to the door. You won't let her interrupt you. You need to know what's behind the door. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. Wash your hands and sit down. Grabs you by the shoulder, shanking you away. You do as she says, cleaning up under her watchful eye and allowing yourself to be ushered back to the table. Away from the door. Damn, this looks scary. Especially the fucking stare she's giving me. She's scary as fuck. Dinner is already laid out. Dinner is already laid out. Dinner rolls spaghetti and a light salad. And Nigan viciously picks at her food, still is nervously talkative, and Reese suddenly quite intense, his shoulders tight as his mother perches on the chair next to his. Dr. Kelly's eyes all over you with a sharp, fierce gaze. Sharp, fierce gaze. Okay, I could have seen what dinner rolls, but right here, that's what we call butter. Oh, Villa. Something like that. In a better language like Denmark. Danish, Danish, the best shit in the world. Oh yeah, I'm Danish. Oh yeah, I'm Danish. You're not. So I hope you're sad about it. Found the best. Joking. Not joking. God damn. I would like me some spaghetti with some dinner roll right now. Fuck this salad. I could live without it. Just give me some meatballs instead. Good. Some good, good sauce. But meatballs are mean. Balls of meat. Balls of meat. Balls of meat. Like balls. Balls of meat. Like balls of meat. Balls of meat. Lamps, balls of meat. He sits up beside you at the far head of the the table. Her feet you see silhouetted against the light of the setting sun in the window behind her. Reach mine. Given her projecting vegetables, read you find it out that she's there between the two of you rather than the other way around. It's almost as though she's got it. Not only for you, Ella and Kanika, but towards her son as well. On as well. Yes. Lies a few chaplets to watch read. You beautifully slow with them. This is excellent, Dr. Kelly. Is the pasta sauce homemade? No, it's from a jar. I worked for many hours to make my own pasta sauce. Well, you have an excellent taste in France, and if you ever want to, your tips on easy home cooked pasta sauce, you know I. Oh, thanks, still. I have the internet if I need any recipes. Uh, thanks again for having us, Dr. Kelly. We really appreciate it. You, do, you didn't tell me they came by yesterday. You were asleep. I didn't want them to wake you up. 
But you could have told me. Why? They were com- I never coming over today anyway. Okay. I just rather know these things. Noted. Street smart. Noted. This won't do anything about it. There's some will remain in the dark. That's not very fun. Can you fuck off, Han? Fuck off, Han. You know a thing. I saw a video online about a family like yours turns out the mom was poisoning her kids for 18 years. I bet she was doing that shit just to keep him away from mothers. Maybe he just shouldn't take those pills. That seems like fucked up shit now. Right, right. She's posting him. About Reese. Small talk. The danger remains silent. Let me just say this for the fuck of it. I knew. I think I saw a video about a female like yours. It turns out the mom had been poisoning her kids for 18 years. Then the table goes quiet. Oh yeah, I think I saw that one too. Wild stuff. Is that, is that so? Silence returns. Seconds feel drawn out like minutes aside from race mom staring down at the table. Nobody is making eye contact with her or anyone else. Explore her. There's no need for anyone uh, to be so tense. Everything's okay. We're all just here to have a nice dinner. Yeah, face I'm hot. There's no need for everyone to be so tense. Everything's okay. We are all just here to have a nice dinner. Make fun of yourself. Bitch, I'm hot. You can't resist me. I'm hot, I'm hot. No, oh, really, it's fine. Is yes, it? Why am I being interrogated in my own home by a guest I've never met? In Buster's defense, a lot of awful stuff has happened to the past couple days. And there are a lot of lingering questions. It's pretty hot. You take the detective hat off. Why don't you put it on? Maybe the case, but we don't need to be agitated by this. I want to know what's going on out there. I don't care if it agitates me. And look, I'm fine. This is a long, quiet ass. Dr. Kelly turned close to her eyes in reflection. Alright, I'll try and give this a chance. Based. About Reese. Does no one in this town have two parents? What exactly does he have? It must be your heart having to isolate your son from the world like this. Do you think Freeze might feel better if he got to see people more often? Why are you so hell-bent on keeping your son from seeing his friends? <gasps> Reese is a talented artist. You must be very proud of him. Don't you find your son's art concerningly macabre? Does no one in this town have two parents? <coughs> Dr. Kelly glares intensifies. Small towns are full of drama. Small towns are full of drama. People will meet when they're young and regulars. And it doesn't always work out long term. As I'm not sure if that's really. Fair enough. That's a bad excuse you came up with. Sure. Kind of the other the way around. Dent. Each other and stay together. Oh, maybe that's just me. That comes from over the place in America. I don't know. I'm just bullying you. It's fun, don't worry. I'm just pulling your leg. Close details are dangerous. Close details are dangerous. And the job's even more, so things happen. Not everyone gets some fairy tale ending. Oh, that makes more sense. Dying in the mines and shit. You can find a happy ending anyway, though. It doesn't have to be perfect, but people can still be happy even if bad things happen to them. <laughs> I guess living in the dial is kind of happiness, sure. What exactly does he have? I'm not poisoning my son. So you can stop with the thinly veiled accusations. He has a combination of genetic diseases that give him a fragile immune system, among other things. It's too much to get into. A lot of technical terms that I have, I'd have to explain. It's not good dinner talk, and it can be pleasant. It can't be pleasant for him to have to hear it again. Well, let's drive in. I'm fine talking about it. I'd rather we talk about something else. The more you talk, the less you feel like you're having a conversation, and the more you feel like you're treading on eggshells. It must break your heart having to isolate your son from the world like this. Just another unfortunate side effect of his illness. Both of us have to ha have just had to come to terms with it. Not like the life I wanted for him. 
but it's the life he had to lead. Maybe he doesn't have to. Oh, jeez, Kanika, your boots are heavy. Very dark, Cook Alley. We're totally respectful of Freeze boundaries, even though they might seem a little arbitrary and strict. Isn't that right, Stella? You can kick me all you like. It won't change my bold attitude and outgoing personality. <laughs> you know, Doug, I feel pretty okay. I don't, I don't think uh, having people over is all that rough on me. Let's see how you feel in an hour. Reese is a talented artist. You must be very proud of him. He has a lot of skill honed through practice and dedication. I can't say I understand a lot of his pieces, but of course I'm proud. Thanks, Doug. The danger. Good doctor, you think those kids are okay? It's possible. We'll see. It's in the meantime. I'm just stuck here waiting for the call. Here's hoping it doesn't come. An ancient silence descends on the dinner table. The tension at the dinner table reaches a breaking point. All right, that's enough. Doctor Kelly interrupts. By re, by interrupted by Weiss. <laughs> Before he can't finish her thought. Oh, we were talking about watching a movie sometimes this week. While Buzzy is still in town. I'll have to see how you're feeling. I can handle a movie, Doc. I like how he calls his mom for the doctor. That really shows that they're not that close. Okay, I should stop doing this, but this beat is just really funky. The good, really nice. I like it. But no, but I liked it. How it shows that they are not really that close, considering that he just calls her Doc, like doctor instead of mom. Oh yeah. You will just sit downstairs in the dark. Reese is used to that. I'm sure he'll be okay. You're always overestimating how much you're able to do, Reese. This is why you keep getting sick. If I get sick so much, it's not like that's ever going to change. I'm sick every day. I'm not getting better. I don't want to spend the last few miserable years of my life holed up in the basement alone just because seeing my friends has been deemed too genius. I'm an adult for God's sake. I can't believe I have to ask for permission from my mom just to have friends over. He stops mid sensing, winching, and pain and rubbing himself in his arm. Don't say things like that. I'm doing everything I can to try and fix. Silence as Dr. Kelly's eyes shoot him. Reese? Reese probably pulls himself from the table and leaves. Damn it. I knew it. I knew this would be too much. Everyone get out of the house, please. Just leave us alone. Stop trying to interfere with the, with his life. All the thoughts is hurt him more. You can't just... But you can't just leave him like this. Now is when we, he needs friends the most. No, now is when he needs me the most. I am his doctor and his mother. I know you care about him. I know. Bad. And he's no... And he knows it too. But all any of you would do is get in the way. So just leave, please. Don't think I don't know something is up here. Don't think we don't know something is up here. We have stuff to do anyways. He seems fine before dinner. Seems fine before dinner. Very, we'll get out of here, out of your way, quite a leaf. I feel like the the pills was doing shit. It seemed fine before dinner. It always comes and wins, and I can assure you that right now is very much not fine. Now leave. <coughs> okay. The three of you are rushed to the door. We'll be back, Reese. I hope you feel better soon. Dr. Kelly shuts the door on your faces to click off the lock signals to end of your dinner at Reese's. Do you really think Reese's mom is poisoning him? If she is, I swear to God. You wouldn't. That's just so horrible. Who could do something like that to her own kid and for so long? No, no. There's no way. You all are bugging up the wrong tree. It seems far-fetched, but it's definitely rare. And definitely it's rare. But I don't think we can rule it out. Something was weird happening when I went to wash my hands. It was like I was forced to try and break into the clinic. Did either of you get the impression that Dr. Kelly is afraid of Reese? Something seriously wrong with that dynamic. I didn't even get to finish my food. Dr. Kelly is hiding something. What a lovely thing. 
think. Something's weird happening when I went to wash my hand. It was like I was forced to try and break into the clinic. Forced how? Forced how? It was like something was making me go there. I wonder if it was... Uh, was it like that coughing in the pit last night before you had that seizure? It was kind of like you were hypnotized. I wasn't there, but I guess I'll take your word on it. Hypnotism seems like a step up from what we've been dealing with, though. I mean, I don't know what happened last night, but the whole thing was very strange, like... I guess it was kind of similar. It's probably not, but remain silent. I guess it was kind of similar. What if there's another coughing in there? That'd be so weird. If there is, I wonder if it'd give you another vision. Maybe this thinks it's something to do with Ditchling. You're not suggesting we go poking around in there, are you? Of course I am. Maybe tomorrow. I am not breaking into Dr. Kelly's clinic based on a bad vibe, Bartikon. Did either of you get the uh, the person that Dr. Kelly is afraid of, Reese? She never turned her back towards him. Yeah. Are you sure she just was? She wasn't just overprotective. I'm sure that's all that's going on, and she has every right to be. I mean, the poor guy took two bites of food and then got sick immediately. I can't imagine what that's like for both of them to go through. Yeah, but if she was being overprotected, she have sat down, uh, sat between us and him. He had her back to the window. That's that's interesting. If anyone should be afraid of anyone in that house, we should be afraid of his mom. I think you're both reading into things too much. Dr. Kelly's a good person. Wait, Dr. Dr. Kelly is a good person. People. It's good. It's Dr. Kelly is good people. Uh, sorry, but there's a there's a typo there. I just took it out to me. Look, I'm just saying there's maybe more to their dynamic than just him being sick, but it's not like there's much we can do about it right now. Sure. We could probably go back and forth on this for a while. Let's just get going. The sun is setting and we wouldn't want to miss a second coast. Action. Billy hurries off doing it down the hill, almost as if to run away from what ha just happened. You and Kanika follow her down the slowly darkening street. Lit by the orange hues of the setting sun, the library feels different. What was once a quaint building in a small town now stands as imposing structure, its walls holding something that stares back at you with menace. Maybe still is right, maybe ghosts aren't real. The rest of tonight is going to be a pleasant break from the events of the past few days. Can't help but feel like you're about to walk into a slasher movie. Run through a mental list of everyone who's joining you, trying to figure out if you'd make it to the end. Were you kidding? Hotties like you are usually some of the first to go. If anyone has final girl energy, it's Stella or Kanika. Into the library. Yes, the exterior is intimidating. You know what? I feel like this is it for today. Remember to like, subscribe, watch my videos, and leave a comment telling me what you think. What's going on? Is Reese's mom really poisoning him? Am I really that sexy? And why can't Stella just uh, resist my hotness and not just jump on my dick first chance she got? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that in the comments, and we'll find out in the next episode, hopefully. I'll see you all next time.